this, there's a the monitor, there's the uh, results for this battle. We can see 2,000 damage, Rally Walters, high caliber, top gun, well, of course, and uh, ace badge. So we'll go into this fight here uh, real quick on this replay of a Churchill Mark I game. Uh, tier 5, I have a few tier 6s in here, and we'll see exactly how to do very well in a slow tank like this. There we go. Now this should show up. All right, QF six pounder, 110 uh, and 150 on the APCR. I'm gonna speed this up here because this vehicle is so slow. I just decided to push right up the middle. We're gonna see our ELC light up the guys on their base. Our Panzer IV H light up this M8A1 uh, tank destroyer. And we're going to see one of our artillery actually take out one of the enemy artillery. But the most important thing here to see is that all of their tank destroyers are on their base. They're looking elsewhere. They're not really focusing down the road here. And we see uh, this Chaffee light up from this Panzer 4H. So we're going to start to lay into him, get him taken out so he doesn't do too much damage on our Panzer 4H here. And then we're just going to lay into this M8A1. So he's going to go down. And the next thing I'm thinking uh, through my mind is, is that... He had me lit, and it hasn't been six seconds yet, so I'm still going to be able to be shot through these archways over here, through the abbey, from the guys on the base. So I really need to be careful. Plus, if they have any artillery up here in the northeast of the map, uh, there's also a chance that I'll get hit from him. And I'm pretty sure we'll see an artillery round land here through the uh, uh, church, but thankfully it only hits the building of the abbey. So now, after we know that we're dark, I come over here to help this 3001H with this Matilda 4, but unfortunately my round does not penetrate and uh, the 3001H is able to kill him. He is very low on hit points though, but I need to remember that while I was over here, I was definitely lit by that 3001H. We see an enemy round land behind my tank, possibly from this tank destroyers up there on their base. As it's important to keep in mind that uh, there is a very slight line of sight from their base through this archway over into this area. So you gotta be really careful when sitting in there. Another good tactic while up here in the middle is if you own the middle and you see enemy tanks over here in the west end, go ahead and lay into them. The, the sight lines are pretty far, especially at this tier, that uh, you will not be able to be seen from their guys. You're also shooting through some bushes. However, I would not suggest sitting where you are right here at tiers 8 or higher. But we're going to see here we're doing a lot of damage to these guys. We're getting off a lot of rounds. That one bounced, so I'm going to switch over to APCR to pen back of this uh, KV-1S. So we hit his track here, but unfortunately we aren't able to get off any more damage on him as I looked over there uh, at the KV-1. Our team finishes them off, but they're still a team one heavy, which I point out to the team there on the map that, hey, this guy is still alive. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep uh, off the normal path here of the road. Most tanks will look straight down this road. Not many will look over here to the side. Uh, so just in case anybody puts a random round down the road here, I won't take a uh, just an unlucky hit. But we see the artillery here in the back, and we can see just real quick uh, situational awareness is that we have the AT2 over here with the Skoda T24. Now, however, he is very low on hit points, so I believe he's killed over here. Uh, I don't remember who does it. Maybe the AT8, as he will show up coming across here later. But we can see over here we have two guys against this SU-100, and that will come into play uh, as we move forward on their base. But right now I'm going to try to take out this M44 as he's going to be a threat. Any artillery is a threat, but you shouldn't be uh, hating against artillery as they do play an important role in the game. And we can see here, I'm actually looking at the back of the AT-1 here as he is looking at the uh, Skoda T-25. But unfortunately, like I said, our Skoda T-25 is killed. And I'm sorry that is actually the front of him, but uh, there's very little chance to actually pen uh, the front of the AT-2, so I do load the APCR to shoot him inside, 
And as we see, he's starting to actually move up here and give us his weaker side and rear armor. So we're going to take him out here. Not entirely sure why he continued forward, but right there we took two rounds from that issue 85B. They didn't pen, and they were pretty uh, rapid in succession. So right there that will tell us that he is not actually fully upgraded. So little cues like this are always great when uh, you're in a fight. If you take a hit from somebody and you see, oh, I took a lot of damage, uh, he's fully upgraded. Or if you see that, hey, those shots were in rapid succession, so he probably is running such and such gun, but it's not their big alpha gun. We're going to move up here. We're going to look to the right and see this SU-100, who's actually a one-shot. So I'm going to stop, aim in on him, and actually take him out with a lucky hit. But unfortunately, we're going to take a hit from the M44, lose a few hit points, and uh, be forced to use our repair kit. Rolling up on their base, I'm staying to the left here a bit. If we see coming off the road, I came up to the left instead of following the road up to the hill. And this is so that uh, anybody who's sitting up here won't get some easy free shots on me. Or if it looks like I'm coming over this way, uh, some people may think that I may go over here and be looking the opposite direction from when I actually come up onto their base. It's a little bit of uh, leaving options open for your vehicle so that you can work different sides of the field without exactly tipping the enemy off to what you're doing. But we're going to roll up here. I'm going to use this terrain right here in front of us to try to stay as hauled down as possible to anybody who's sitting up here, like that SU-85B who we're going to see right here. And again, you can see me flash right over his tank there, and you saw that his gun barrel is actually really small, meaning he doesn't have a top gun. But there's an artillery piece, a much easier shot, and a much more deadly target as we uh, take him out first, and then the SU-85B. And we're gonna, we haven't seen the AT-8 in a while, and I'm thinking through my mind, he's probably turned around by this point, as we don't have many tanks left, and he's going to come back, and he's going to come and try to take me out. But I'm also thinking that here's a 3001H behind me and a Panzer IV H behind me, along with an artillery here and two artillery back at our base, so I'm pretty well covered but that is only if everybody's paying attention over here. However, seeing that I have six kills and seeing my name pop up so much on that kill log will probably get my team's attention to uh, show that I'm up front, I'm here, uh, and you can support me. So we're going to see this AT-8 pop up right here. And I'm going to try to get in a few shots, uh, mostly try to track him and do some damage. But this right here, what I'm doing is I'm actually moving over this way to make it seem like I'm going to run forward and just try to run around him the other way. Now, if he uh, thought of it, thought this through, his speed is not much better than my speed. Uh, it's actually about the same as I'll go maybe 25 forward, but he'll go 20 forward. And we'll see here, there's a shot in the track, but unfortunately it doesn't track him. And this was after a shot on his uh, commander's cupola. And I hit the other track here, but unfortunately it also does not track him. However, here he charged my position and I am on his side, but he also has my side. So I'm going to pause this right here and show, that is freaky, uh, and show my angle to him. And he actually only hits the track. He doesn't really do much damage to my tank. Uh, and that is strictly based on the angle uh, of how I put my tank to his. So the Churchill's have some spaced armor on the side, so if you can get him to hit in the right spot, you actually will not take any damage. But we see here, I zoom in, I just unload into his commander's hatch as he uh, unfortunately does hit my engine, but I do get the kill. Uh, this again is where this gun comes in play. This is a very big DPM gun, so doing that, uh, this type of maneuver from this close against that sort of target is where this gun really stands out over, like, say, the high velocity or some other gun. And we're going to fix the track here and fix the engine, and we're going to see this T1 Heavy show back up. Now, unfortunately, he shows up right in front of us. He's, he's right, actually, on the other side of this ridge, but... Luckily, he is actually really a low health, and unfortunately, my first round ricochets, but like I said, our artillery is watching, and we'll see him actually get nuked by two artillery here. The first one misses, as, and then my shot pens, and then the second one gets him. I'll let my team know that, hey, I am looking for an eighth kill coming up here, and we'll actually speed this up a little bit, because this engine damage is going to keep me going pretty slow here. 
but I know the artillery's last position. There's a good chance at this tier that he is still there because many artillery won't run uh, or they'll run too late. So we're going to see the Panzer 4H light him up. And I'm going to put two shots into him, getting the 8th kill, ending the match, 2,000 damage, uh, only 300 assisted. But at tier 5 in a tier 6 match like this, that is the best you can hope for. And I hope this replay really helps you guys think about how these matches can go and how these matches will run. Um, and I hope that this helps you in the future. Uh, and don't forget to check out my live stream. And subscribe here on YouTube and on my Twitch and Twitter, and you'll get updates from me. You can come ask me questions and find out all sorts of information like this to help you guys out in your World of Tanks career.